Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 28. And I know that because I wrote it down again. <laughs> Trying to get... Also, there's someone knocking. It's just Jesse. Jesse's here and awake, so he'll make noise and probably an appearance at some point. Right now, he's watching TV and sliding on his slide. But, um, alright. First and foremost, I have hit over 500 subscribers, which is awesome. That was... I don't know what that was. <laughs> but, um... I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me lately. I know a lot of it has to do with the, um, uh, what is it called? The videos everybody's making. Oh gosh, I'll pop it up because I never forgot what it is. It's like hashtag small yarn creators or something like that. Um, it'll pop up somewhere. I want to welcome everybody who's new and welcome back everybody who's been here already. But it's just awesome that I've reached, I think last time I looked I was at 529 and that's awesome. I never thought that it'd be 10 people would want to watch me. Nonetheless, 529. So that's really cool and I want to welcome everybody. And I do plan on having a giveaway soon. I just don't know when. It all depends on how life goes and um, what I can accumulate to give away. I thought about doing like a my favorites thing giveaway of my favorite like craft related things. We, we will see when it gets there. Probably maybe around 750 or something. Because I need time to plan for it. <laughs> but anyways, that's all of that. And um, I do plan on making a tag video. But I mean, everybody else is already making one with everybody else already listed in it. But I may go ahead and make one anyways just to have another one out there. Because who knows, some of my subscribers may not have heard of some of the people that I enjoy watching. So I will make that maybe this weekend once Jesse's at his grandparents or something. I don't know. I got a few other... Ravelry tutorial ideas that I want to make and I'm planning on trying to make a series. I'm writing it out right now For how to read patterns like paper, you know printed patterns computer, you know, whatever kind of patterns There's crochet patterns not charts because I don't even know how to read charts. I need to learn how to read charts, but um Just like patterns actual patterns. Wow. I said that a lot of times. But anyways <laughs> um, This is the 28th week that I've done this. It's pretty crazy. It's been about, I think, six weeks, or weeks, six months since I started, I think, I don't know, but I have 50-something videos, because I had, I have 28 of these videos now, and plus a few uh, tutorial videos, and vlogmas, so that's pretty cool. I may give a, do a giveaway when I reach 100 videos, too, I don't know, I'll make up ideas as I come along. Alright, announcements. <laughs> this is a new segment, and I didn't write it down, but uh, I might scribble it down real fast. Let me bring up my phone. I know I'm always grabbing my phone in the middle of the podcast, but it's because I always forget to write something down, and then I think about how I need to mention it. So, first announcement is <clears throat> I'm going to be participating in hosting a crochet along. Uh, it won't start until April, but I'm hosting it with, um, I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's Moe's Crochet. M O E S C R O C H E T crochet. <laughs> uh, she has a podcast that she actually literally just talks. She has um, she's visually impaired, but so she makes it like a voice thing. I don't know if, don't know if that's right, but uh, it's still really good though. Her um, podcast. Let me pop it up here is Unseen Strands. She's only got seven subscribers, so she needs more subscribers. Y'all need to go over there and subscribe to her. I will link her below. Um, she doesn't have any, like, art. What's it called? YouTube art. Oh gosh, I messed up something. Now my phone's going berserk. Anyways, I'm not hosting it. She uh, messaged me on Ravelry and asked if I would be interested in co-hosting a crochet along with her. It would be starting April the 14th through October the 14th. It's six month crochet along and it's gonna be a, it's called a cakewalk, which I thought was a really neat idea. And the idea of it is to use crochet cakes or cake like yarn. It doesn't have to be a specific, you know, like actual cake, but like self striping yarn I think is what she was going for. To make any kind of project, just any project you can make with a cake yarn. And then through the whole six months just make whatever, you know, shawls or scarves or you know, apparel, anything you wanna make, hats, anything. <laughs> Um, and you can enter it in there, and there's going to be a Ravelry winner on the Ravelry group that's it's going to be on her Ravelry group because mine is non existent practically. And then there's going to be a Facebook winner on my Facebook group, which will be linked below. And um, she's already got a uh, what's it called? A Ravelry group 
or not a group, a thread about it on her Ravelry group, which I'm having a hard time finding because she's in a lot of groups. <laughs> it's called Unseen Strands also. Let me make sure that's just a URL. Yeah, it's Unseen Strands Ravelry group. I don't know. It'll be linked below. So if you're interested in joining along starting in April, you know, you got a while to prepare. <laughs> I have a bunch of cakes that I need to use, so I think it's a good idea. And plus, um, you know, it's a good way to <clears throat> her people to meet my people, my people to meet her people, you know, people to mix, and to use up yarn in a creative way where you can also win something. Because like I said, there's going to be at least one get, one winner from the Ravelry group and one from the Facebook group. Possibly more, I don't know, we might make up more winners, you know, random draws or something. But um, if you want to head over to her group, join it on Ravelry. And then if you're not already in my Facebook group, join in. You can post in both. I haven't made the... Um, album on my Facebook group yet, but I will I will make it pretty soon. It's just, you know, it's not until April, so i got plenty of time to make it. But uh, I'm planning on the prize that I'll be giving to the person in the Facebook group that wins is I'm going to make one of my project bags, like this one, but the bigger size. I'm going to try to find some material that's got cakes on it that's not cupcakes, because all the material I can find is cupcakes. But I'm going to try to make um, a cake related project bag and maybe some stitch markers or something. I don't know. It's going to be secret. Not necessarily a cake of yarn though because kind of, I think the point of the crochet along is to use up cakes of yarn. But maybe a non-cake version of yarn. I don't know. i got plenty of time to worry about it. And I might draw more than one winner. I don't know. we got time to figure it out. I'm just kind of like in announcing it so that y'all can be getting prepared for it. Because <laughs> I love participating in cows. It's fun to communicate with other people and to see what everybody's making because it also gives you ideas of things to make and it's also fun to try to win stuff and be even more fun to win I'm sure I've never won but I will one of these days um another cow that I want to participate in that I haven't yet but I'm planning on it is one that uh Claudia is hosting at the Crochet Luna Rivalry Group and it's called I think Ornament Along and it's basically from now until Christmas ish November maybe just make Christmas ornaments for, you know, meant for this Christmas or to gift, you know, whatever. And you enter them in her rivalry group, and I think she's going to be drawing random winners uh, throughout the year, which is cool. So, uh, that'd be fun to check out. I'll link that down below, too. I'm planning on starting that maybe this week. I already went on rivalry and favorited a lot of ornament patterns that I'd like to make. Oh, excuse me. Devin just left for work, so if in a minute I'm... On my phone texting, it's because he told me he's there and I'm telling him okay. Because <laughs> I always want to make sure people get to where they're going or I have a panic attack because I'm a paranoid person. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all the announcements. That's a crochet along. Oh, and also the other crochet along that's still going on and will be going on all year into into November is Terry's at the Yarn Joy Podcast. It's, I'll link it below too. And it is the, um, it's Repeat Crafter Me Corner to Corner Christmas Blanket. It's adorable. Almost everyone's already completed the Santa square that was January's. And I think the next one that we're doing is the Christmas tree. That'll be February square. So, But, you know, I guess you could do any square you want. It's just the point is to do one square a month up until November. And by then, you can piece it together and have a blanket for Christmas season. To gift or to, you know, throw on a couch, whatever. Anyways, I think that is all the announcement. I'm tired now. I should have brought a drink. I may have to run and get my water. I left it in the living room. I'm going to trust that he's watching TV and not destroying something. <laughs> Alright, finished objects. Finished object number one. I have quite a few finished objects this week. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. All of them's crochet but one. Alright, my first finished object is the Snappy Sampler Snowman Scarf. Well, S is by Heidi H. This is a paid for pattern. I believe I got it for free because she gives away coupon codes like... I can't think of something, but like... Like, somebody get, like, no, no, that might offend somebody. She just gives them away a lot. If you're not already a member of her Facebook group called, I think, Totally Snappy, you need to join it. Because she gives away patterns on there all the time, and it's secret. You're not allowed to share it with people that's not in the group. So, like, I'm in the group, so. Like, he just threw a sock at me. <laughs> Why do you think he sucks? No, <gasps> rude. Rude. Nope, nope. I ain't done with that. Hold on, all right. No, Bubba. Mama's filming. Okay. Let Mama film and then you can color. Here. Here's the paper. 
in a pan. Here, come here, color. What? Color. <laughs> hey, always join that group. I only get below two because you know it's always nice to have free fun. Free patterns and Heidi Yates are awesome. I love every pattern she comes out with. They're amazing. All right, this is a snowman scarf. You gotta open it. Look this way. I'm going to regret giving that to him. This is the first snowman. He's all done. I, I saw it on the eyes and stitched the mouths. I did the eyes and mouths while watching Frankie and Grace on Netflix. If you haven't watched it and you're not, not offended easily, watch it. It's hilarious. Second snowman. The third one. His little scarf thing. Then this is the part that goes around your neck. And then I put his pom-pom on his hat. And the two little twins. And the last one with the pom-poms. And tassel. I think this came out adorable. I love the reindeer one I made last season. And I love this one this season. And these are probably both. The reindeer one and this one will make appearances in our Christmas cards this Christmas. Because there's two. And there's two adults that are in my photos. So I'll probably wear the snowman one and have Devin wear the reindeer one. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome, fun to make. I enjoy making anything Heidi Yates because she she writes patterns extremely well. And um, I love the colors that she uses. You know, she always uses real bright and pretty colors. Oh. He's scribbling. I hope you can hear over it. Um, but yeah, all of this is Red Heart Super Saver Scraps. I'm pretty sure it's all Red Heart. I don't remember all the colors. I know it's Red Hot, White, Black. I can't remember this blue, but I had like a thousand balls of it. And this green is spring green, which I had a thousand balls of. This, I think, is... It's not pumpkin. It's the other one. Maybe this is pumpkin. I don't know. It's all Red Heart Super Summer. Alright. The next um, finished object is adorable. I love this little thing. He's been played with a lot since I made him. On the paper, not your hand. Thank you. And it's the Hug Monster by Linda Slant. I can't say that. I'm stuck at pronouncing things. It is a free pattern. Made with a G hook. And I know that it's called, I love this thing. It's called Gelato Stripes or Cake or something. Someone else on some other podcast, I watched somebody, I can't even remember, had um, a project made out of it. But anyways, it's the Hug Monster. Ain't he adorable? I think it's super duper cute. And it was super easy. And this, I had one little ball left over of this yarn. And it took every bit of it. Like, the last bit of that I had left was like that much that I used to sew one of the ears on with. It was very loud. <laughs> but, um, the pattern calls for felt eyes and mouth, but I don't like working with felt and because Jessie would peel it off if I glued on there. So I just stitched on the mouth really good and I made little circles for eyes. But what's a cool coincidence about this is I didn't mean for this to happen at all. It just came out that way. Yeah. Was each ear and arm on each side your arm and feet match orange 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 purple 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 and I did not mean for that to happen it was totally coincidental I didn't even notice it until like a day or two after I finished him and this little tail is mostly blue but I think he turned out so stinking cute I want to make more of these and maybe try to make different size ones um, by different, using different yarns and hooks and with the monster back there you go Jesse likes playing with him and more specifically he likes throwing him at me which is fine, but that's that was a really fun pattern. I totally, I'm gonna be making that again. God dang it! Don't say that. People will hear you. <laughs> he says, "God dang it," because the little girl that I babysit says it, and he picks it up from her. But there's nothing to be done about now. He's already learned it. <laughs> All right, the next finished object is this, which y'all might recognize. This is the crochet in public bag. Where is it? By Bethany Dearden. It's an H hook and the yarn is Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm, which I have like three big giant balls left over that I got given to me. But actually the little girl that I babysit's grandmother. Um, this is a crochet bag, you know, it's, it's one of those that's meant to hold on your arm to crochet out of, which I have a funky one, I think it's called Red Heart Monet. <clears throat> but this one I made to hang in Jesse's closet on this hanger to hold all his little socks. Because he doesn't have a dresser because I'm afraid he'll knock it over on himself and we live in an apartment so I can't anchor it to the wall but um 
It works for what I needed it for. I think it, this is a super duper fast pattern. Like you can make this in an hour, maybe like two hours, depending on how many interruptions you have. Hey, excuse me. I told you I was going to regret giving him that pen. He's already writing on everything. Anyways, I love this pattern and I'll probably make it a million times. This is a paid for pattern on Ravelry, like the PDF. But if you go to the pattern page and then go to her website, it's free on her website. So that's how I got that for free. Be careful. Alright, what's the next one? Oh, the next one, that's, I'll say that one last because it's not crochet. This one I made last night. Is I wanted to make it just to enter into a contest and you have until the 31st to make it and enter it but I just I wanted to finish it last night <clears throat> so I stayed up after De Devin Jesse went to sleep and finished this and it's Heidi Yates it's a snowman hanging dishcloth it's free on her blog and it was free PDF until today at 4, 4 p.m. Mountain time, but by the time you see this video, it'll be tomorrow, so you can't get it for free. But it will be free on her blog still. It's just a PDF that is paid for tomorrow after tomorrow. But it's H hook and it's Red Heart Super Saver White Orchid Monet. And this is not this is a scrap yarn that I got from some random yarn store, I can't remember what it's called. And it's got buttons three buttons. But it's meant to, it actually functions, this button, uh, buttons. it's for you to hang on like your kitchen cabinet door or your off your refrigerator handle or your stove handle. And ideally you're supposed to make it out of cotton so it's functional, but it also could be decorative. So this is acrylic. So it's just for decoration. I probably won't even be able to use it for a year or two because of Mr. Grubby Paul's. Be careful. But it was super fast. Like, I could have probably made this in an hour if Jesse hadn't been interrupting me. So I, I did most of this, like from here down, while Jesse was awake, and then I finished the whole head and the little bits and bobs after he went to bed. But I was all done with it. Probably, you know, in total an hour. This little thing's curling, but it's, it's adorable. I think it's so cute. But anyways, until the 31st of January, if you make this and make a project page on Ravelry, and you have to complete the project page so that it'll be linked to the original pattern, she's gonna give a random person from the finished projects uh, any free pattern they want from her site. So that's cool. Alright, my last finished object is not crochet related. Well, it's not crochet, but it's a bag. I made, ooh, it's big and it's got something in it so it's lumpy. Oh, be careful, please. It's just some fat quarters that I had from Halloween clearance at Walmart. This outside is two fat quarters sewn together. So it's a fat half, that's what I call it. <laughs> but um, it's just true or treat candy. And the inside is again two fat quarters sewn together and it's just Halloween colored polka dots. And I use the same for the uh, the casing of the drawstring. And then the drawstring is just black ribbon. The tutorial for this bag is always listed below. The, pat the video tutorial is this size. This is one fat quarter on the outside and one on the inside. This is the ones I make because I double it. And you know you can essentially make it as big or small as you want just by changing the size of the material you use. Because I like this bag and I do want to make some more small ones but I like these bigger ones because most of the projects I make are pretty big. So um, that's my last finished object. Yeah but it'll be linked below. Whips. Still working on my secret project. I got a couple more rows done on it. So I'm not even going to bother putting a picture in because it's only a couple rows bigger. Alright, the only crochet whip I have, why is it even in its back? Oh, I forgot to mention this one. Wait, maybe it's on now. I forgot to write this one down. I'll talk about this one in a second. I'll have to go to Ravelry. This is my Lost in Time shawl, which I haven't touched. And the reason I haven't touched it is because I found, I don't even know what group it is. I'll have to link it below. This is it, though. That's the right way, yeah. I found a, um, crochet along that starting in February, I think this coming Friday, this next coming Friday, February 2nd, and it's a shawl along that's going to last for like a month or so, and you can enter as many shawls as you want, and she will take partially done ones as long as they're not super duper almost done, and this isn't super duper almost done, it's just barely done, <laughs> so I'm not going to work on that until next week so that I can enter it in that crochet along. I can't remember the person or their podcast or anything, so I will link that below, because I don't know, I brain farted. Jesse's behind the curtains. I don't know if you can see him, but I hope he doesn't fall. Alright, this other whip. I can't believe I... I don't even think I have a project page for this. Nope. 
Alright, I'll have to go to favorites. Be careful. Mommy don't want you too far. Alright, this is what it's going to be. Hopefully, if I don't mess it up. Load. It is an American flag brief by Erica Fedor. Fedor. This. But so far, all I've got of it, and it's a pain in the butt already, I tell you. It is 380 chains, and what you start with. It's a free pattern. It's paid for PDF, but if you go to that project page and go to her site, it's free on her site. So I got 380 chains, and I just started making the first, the navy blue part. And it's very curly. And the idea is when you get a reform, you, you would, uh wrap it around it and it looks kind of like that you know but better because you would you know mess with it till it looks pretty <laughs> and uh you basically make a huge blue one and then six i think six each white and red to wrap around it and then you just she's got little wooden stars sewed on there but i, I can either get beads or something i'll figure that out i'm making this to enter into the fair because one of our categories is patriotic reef <laughs> they got a lot of categories and yeah, so that's living in my candy bag. I love that bag. It turned out cute. I'm probably going to hit the camera. That's alright. Okay, I didn't. Alright, that's all my whips and all my finished objects. I'll link everything below. There's going to be a lot of stuff linked below. I hope I can remember it. If, if I mention something that's not linked below, just holler at me and tell me that you need to link. Okay. <laughs> okay. As predicted, he fell and got hurt. So now he's laying on the couch drinking some milk and watching Blippi. Which is one of his favorite shows now. What was I talking about? The Reef. No, no, it wasn't. I was talking about links. Everything will be linked below. Remind me if there's something I mentioned that's not linked below. I'll find it and share it with you. <laughs> Alright, acquisitions. Alright, this is just one thing that I bought. This is just from Walmart. I think it's Boyle. Oh, yeah, Boy. <laughs> I said Boyle. Boy brand. These are just the little light. I think they're called light bulb pins or something like that. Little stitch markers. I got these in the idea of putting other things on it. Other, you know, actual little dingly, cool, cute little stitch markers. Hold on, Devin text. I said he didn't interrupt me and he did. Okay. <laughs> but, um, it was like four ninety something for a hundred of these little things in this cute little box that it goes in. Which I could totally use that box for something else. <laughs> um, his phone's been messing up, so I get messages like that he sent me yesterday, today, and stuff. Or my phone. One of our phones is messing up. <laughs> so I just got multiple messages from him. Anyways, um, <clears throat> that's the only thing I bought, I think. Okay, this is something my sister bought me. She bought me some I Love This Yarn. Gray mist, which is a really pretty light gray color. She's wanting me to make her one of those elephant cuddlers that a lot of people made recently. Um, it's made with little tiny yarn and little tiny hooks, so I taught her to get me a bigger yarn and I'll make like a bigger version of it. I'll probably use an E or elf hook with worsted weight and make it, it'll be bigger, but it'll still be adorable. She also bought me this. I'm so glad about this. This is a whole yard. So I can make like four bags out of this, or a big one, and a medium sized one. Okay, I'm not going to pull the whole thing out because it is a whole yard. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, this is a Disney Tsum Tsum. These are the cutest little pig-shaped little things. I don't know. <laughs> I collect them kind of. Not as much as her son. Her son has like a good drilling of them. I have like 50. <laughs> but um, they're just so stinking cute. So I'm going to find like a blue or a pink or orange or a yellow or any of these colors to make the liner with. <laughs> I shook it. I'm going to Joanne's tomorrow, so I'll probably pick up some yarn. They got a lot of good deals going on now. But I got a whole yard of that, so I'm going to be making probably two to four project bags out of this. And then I'm planning on getting um, some, f what's it called, fusible fleece, excuse me, tomorrow to try to make interface bags and zippers. I need to put that on my list. The joints I'm going to is like 15 minutes away from here. That's the closest one to us, so I'm, I've got to make a list to make sure I get everything while I'm there. <laughs> Alright, my sister got me that. I bought these. Okay. This I got, this was part of the hashtag get your yarn wishes granted back in December, or November, whenever that went around, I think it was December. 
Um, and this, one of the wishes I wished for, I think I'll wish for pat patterns and stitch markers, because I love stitch markers, you can have, never have too many. And um, one of the people who answered mine was Melody, from the Melody, I think it's called Melody Crochets. That's wrong. It's a podcast, I'll link it below. Oh, surprise. <laughs> but she, she got me, or, you know, she decided to answer my wish. Dang it, I left the card too. She gave me a beautiful card. I almost had a picture. She drew it, like she drew the yarn ball. But, um, so she gave me some stitch markers. And one is this awesome pom-pom. This is amazing. I love this. This would be so easy to make too, because you can get like a hundred of these for a couple bucks at a craft store. And I never thought to do that, but this is so cute. This would be a cute progress keeper, like on my shawl. Something I could stick on there and leave on there. And not necessarily move it a lot. Because it's got a little tiny claw, but I, you know, I could always change it out with a bigger one. And then she got me, this actually has one of those light bulb thingies holding them all together. And these are knit stitch, stitch markers, except this blue one. It's got a clasp. But I can either trade these to someone for their little flowers. For crochet ones, or I can just alter them into crochet ones because they're cute little roses. But the little, this one over here is a crochet one. These other four are knit markers. If you're interested in trading for four flower knit markers for cro four crochet ones, hit me up. <laughs> or I'll just alter them. It don't matter. And then she also sent me these two. I don't know how good you're going to see it. These are, um, what is it called? Electroplated Druzy Quartz. So it's some kind of rock. I don't know my rocks. Very pretty little stitch markers. I don't know how well you can see them, but this one actually looks like a rock, like a random rock. And this one is like shaped as a spear. She also sent me a tea, which it seems like that seems like the norm in the crochet slash knit community, the fiber community. Everybody always throws in a bag of tea, which is cool. I don't know how good I'm going to like this one because it's cinnamon and I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, but it's also blackberry and I like blackberry, so I'd, I'd be willing to try it. And uh, I do sweeten my teas because I'm from the south and if it ain't got sugar in it, it ain't tea. And to be honest, I'll probably be icing it too because I just don't like hot tea. I like iced tea because again, I'm from the south. <laughs> she also sent me a mini skein. I have no idea what yarn this is because it didn't come with a, a label, but it's pretty. It's like this mint color, but it's also, I don't know how well you can see it. There's like white bits through it, like not all the way dyed or something, I don't know. That's my very first mini skein. I'm excited about that because I've always wanted to make a, um, she's actually making one I think, a mini skein blanket. She's making the crochet version and then Erin, give me yarn 418, is making the knit version. I've always loved Erin's and then when I started watching Melody, I loved hers. And so I may start trying to collect these to, um make one of those. But it's going to take me forever because I never buy mini skeins. And um, I know a lot of people trade them, so that might be fun to get into trading mini skeins. But you know, I had to buy some to trade any. <laughs> but um, that's all my acquisitions other than these things I'm going to show you. I'm a little embarrassed, so if you leave a comment, leave nice comments. I'm a sensitive person. <laughs> but I got me some polymer clay. Y'all saw that um, in the last video. So I was like, I'm going to try to make stitch markers. <laughs> and I'm not an artist by any measure. So, these are the few that I made. I actually made a ton, but some of them are put up to probably be the only way because they look horrible. But I think it's a learning curve, just like anything. So, I made this little flower. And it's messed up a little, but this was the very first one I made. So, it's allowed to be messed up. I went ahead and put the little thing in there. And it's baked. I just, I don't have any of the glaze to make them shiny. That's actually on my Joann's list. And then I made this little cake. <laughs> it came out huge. I should have made it smaller. But uh, I didn't have any like light brown, so I just used white, so it looks like an Oreo, like ice cream cake, which is fine because those are amazing. And it's already got the little thing in it. I think this is the cutest one. I made like twelve of these little cake ones that day, and that's the only one that I decided to keep. These two are my favorite. <laughs> I made, if you're a gamer, I made Navi off of Legend of Zelda. She's the little fairy that bugs Link all the time. Hey, listen. And I want to, you know, glaze them to make them shiny and pretty. Just a little Navi elf. I don't know how good you can see it. My camera doesn't focus, but I'm just trying to make it so the light's not shining on it. And then, <clears throat> this one's not all the way done. I still got to paint its eyeballs on. And I made a little purple Norwal. I think that's what those are called. 
they're not perfect, but they're pretty cute, you know, and they're for personal use or if I'm sending them to my yarn friends. And yarn friends don't care. You know, it's about the thought, not the the look, I guess. I don't know. They might care. But they won't tell me. They'll just put it in their stash and never use it. So, But I love Navi. I want to make more. I think I made the little body too big, but, you know, next time I'll just make it smaller. It's a learning curve, like everything. But yeah, that's all my everything, I think. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to burp. I'm sorry. I've been drinking a ton of water. Because I have a bad habit of not drinking enough water and then <clears throat> your body fills it after a while. <laughs> my body does at least. Let's see here. Alright. On to news and such. Family stuff. I don't have any family related news. Do I? Jesse's the same. <laughs> I mean he's learning more. He's talking a lot more. I do plan on vlogging some more. I thought about doing vloguer vlog you February. Vloguary, I guess what it would be. But I don't know if anything interesting is gonna happen in about, uh, about February enough to make vlogs every day. Valentine's Day I might vlog because I'm hoping Devin buys me yarn. <laughs> and I'll probably vlog the month of May because that'll be a pretty happening month. That's a while away. Because De Devin, Jesse's birthday is May 1st. Mine's the 7th. Mother's Day is the weekend after that. And I totally expect yarn, Devin, if you're watching this, yarn. Or yarn related things, you know, stitch markers or mini skeins or you know, whatever patterns, fabric, candy, any of that fun stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, so probably May I might do everyday vlog, but I might do random vlogs here and there. Anyway, so there's not anything new. Life's the same as it always ever has been. <laughs> um, only other kind of news is tomorrow I do have an eye appointment in the city next to us. Because um, I don't have vision insurance in this particular eye doctor. I think it's called America's finest America's greatest I can't remember now <laughs> I just call them too but anyways they do like a deal where you pay sixty five dollars for um that the I checkout thingy exam and two pairs of glasses but that's only if you have single vision prescription which which last time I went to the doctor they were but like Devin you know he's got really bad eyesight and they're different in each eye so he couldn't go there and get that deal you know he could go there but it would cost more anyways I'm going there tomorrow. My sister and my mom are going with me to help with Jesse so he doesn't wreak so much havoc. And plus to shop because in the same little area that that doctor is, two stores over is Joann's and like two more stores over is Target. My sister loves Target and we don't have a local one. So um, we're going to be hitting up Target and Joann's and I got a list of stuff to look for in Joann's. I hope I find everything. I need fiber fill. I'm hoping they have like an awesome deal on it. I need fabric. <laughs> I need to find some fabric with cake print on it and then just fabric that I like. Because they got a lot of it 30 and 40% off according to their flyer. Feasible fleece, which all their batting, and I think feasible fleece counts as batting, is 40% off this week. I need the big lobster claws like the stitch markers Hannah sent me. Hannah from Cozy Cottage Crochet. <laughs> I like saying that. But, um, hi Hannah. Uh, I think you might like this Navi. Ah! I hope I didn't break him. <laughs> I think you would like this because I'm pretty sure you know who he, she, she's a girl, know who she is. Anyway, she sent me these stitch markers with lobster clasps on it, but they were j jumbo ones. They were like three times the size of this, and they are so much easier for me to use. So I want to buy a bunch of those and switch all of my current stitch markers to those giant ones. And if I can't find a good price on them there, I'll order them off Amazon because I think you can get like 25 of them for a certain amount, obviously. But I'll see which one's a better deal. And my mom has Amazon Prime, so I can order it through her and get free shipping. And two-day shipping. So I need some glaze for my clay, which they do sell out at Walmart. But, you know, again, I want to shop around and see if there's any. Plus, Joann's has a lot of coupons, and you can use more than one. And last but not least, the stickers. Because <laughs> I want um, stickers for my planner and just because I like stickers. I'm like a sticker collector. I have so many stickers and I haven't even used them. The idea is I wanted the scrapbook, but then after I thought about it, I didn't want a thousand scrapbooks by the time Jesse moved out. So I thought about just putting some random stickers in our photo albums and then just putting stickers on my note. You know, like I could totally start putting stickers on my crochet talk stuff and all that. But, um, and my planner. I, I hate using them something that I'm going to throw away, though. See, that's just how I am. I don't want to throw away my stickers that I bought for so much money. Excuse me, I'm burpy. 
As you notice, yarn is not on the list of things to buy because one, I have a ton of yarn. I don't really need anything except I would like to have some more shades of blues, not blues, greens, pinks, oranges, and grays. I need more shades of grays and browns. Just for my amigurumis and my little projects like this, you know, I just need more colors to have laying around to use. I don't need any more variegated or cakes because I'm, I'm over that. <laughs> I don't want to hurry up and use those and actually get rid of them because I don't use them. Like, I used a little ball of variegated that I had scrap, and I almost used it all on this tassel and this little brim. I just gotta, I wanna use it all up, and that's why I'm making the little monsters, is to use up the variegated. And the cakes, I'll probably make baby blankets out of and keep on hand for baby showers and stuff. But, uh, I sidetracked big time. I'm not gonna buy any yarn unless there's an awesome deal. I know they have those bins. I think it's them. Maybe it's Michael's. One of them stores has a bin of like discounted yarns. Either the labels are messed up or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'll poke around in there and if I find anything that I like or need, I will grab it, of course. <laughs> but I'm not going there with the intention of buying yarn. I'm going there with the intention of buying things on my list. And um, I got a few good coupons on my Joann's app. I got a 20% off the entire order, including sale items. And I got that one for downloading the app because I'd never downloaded it. Because, again, there's no local Joann's. I wouldn't use it enough to need the app. So I got that one. And I got 40% off total purchase of premium cotton prints because I am going with the intention of buying fabric. So I might find something to use that. I would just have to do two different transactions because you can't use total purchase uh, coupons more than one. So I, I'd have to use, I would put my cotton prints in one t um, transaction and then everything else in the other one to get the 20% off of that. I got 30% off of any run regular priced item, which I think is pretty normal coupon for there. And then the last one I saved was 5 off of 35 and 10 off of 50. I doubt I'll spend 50. Maybe I will. But, you know, if I do, that'll take $10 off, plus the 20% will come off of that. I'm pretty sure. I think that's how it works. I don't know. We'll see. I've heard that you could stack a lot of coupons at Joann's, and they also take Michael's coupons, I think, or just other stores in general. I don't know. I've never, I've only shopped at Joann's once, and I think all I bought was a photo album. A big one that holds, like, 300 photos. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's everything this time. I gotta get a lot of links to link below. <laughs> Jesse looks like he's almost asleep on the couch. He don't feel good. He fell and hit his head. But I told him he was gonna fall. He don't listen to me. <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here, I guess, and get to editing this. And this will be up. By the time it comes up, I will already... Well, no. I'll be home. Because I don't have to leave the house tomorrow until it's time to drop Devin off at work. I have to drop... I have to go pick up my mom. Drop Devin off at work. Pick up my sister. Because she lives in the town that Devin works in. And then go from her town to the other town where my eye doctor is. Because her county is right off of there. And uh, then we're going to go to the eye doctor. My appointment's at 3.30 p.m. I made it later in the day so that I'd have time to drop Devin off. And then when we get done shopping and everything and come back, i got to go back through my sister's town, drop her off, go back, drop my mom off. Then go take Jesse to Devin's dad's because he wants to watch him tomorrow night. And then go home until Devin gets off work. And he normally gets off at work at 10.45 p.m. But sometimes he might have to stay over a little bit. So then I have to go back to my sister's town to get Devin at work. It's a lot of driving, but it's totally worth it to, one, get glasses again. Because I used to wear glasses, but when we moved here, I lost them. And I haven't worn them since, obviously. I lost them. And then to go to Joanne's. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I might, if I buy enough stuff at Joanne's, I might make like a random woohoo haul. And make it come out probably... Sunday or Monday, because I don't want to put a video out super close. And I got another video uploaded just vlogged about um, Ravelry tutorial for making wish lists. And I, it'll come out next week, probably Tuesday-ish. Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I got a few more that I got to film. <laughs> he just hit his head on the side of the couch. Are you alright? He's tired. I'm going to go rock my baby. He looks sleepy. But I'm going to hop off here rock the babe. <laughs> and, um... Get to editing this because it's gonna edit. I need to edit a lot because the whole thing of him falling off the chair was pretty rough and it scared me to death. But everything scares me. I'm a mom. But I think I mentioned everything I was supposed to mention and I think I showed everything I was supposed to show. Right? Yes. I only have one whip. Isn't that crazy? Well, technically two. But uh, as usual, all my links are below plus the quadrillion that I mentioned. Hopefully, if I forgot one, just tell me and I'll throw it down there. 
my Instagram, my Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, and my Facebook group are down below. My Facebook group is doing pretty good. He's dragging his blanket in here. It's a big, giant, like, queen-size blanket we keep on the couch. Hold on, Mama, get you. Come here. Come see my Mama. People want to see you. I know Cindy does. Come here, you can see it. Oh, God. We're going to dump my egg. Mama, Mama Rocky. Dad. No, you don't need those. No, you can play with that one. There he goes for the stitch markers. Anyways, the Facebook group is the most active. You want to play with this one? It's a ball. It's a fuzzy ball. Here, you're on your foot. Let's get you out. Hey, go. Um, so go over there and join it. I've been sharing patterns still. And every time I find a coupon code that's worth sharing, I share it. So. I'm oh. oh. That's Mama's stitch markers. You can play with them right now. But not later. Because you'll eat them. Aren't they cool? They're rocks. He loves rocks. That's like one of his favorite things. Rocks and Blippi. You love Blippi? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you ain't getting the yarn. I'm not giving you yarn. I learned that lesson the hard way. Anyways, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you're a new subscriber, this is my son, Jesse. He's in a lot of the videos. If you went and watched any of my old ones, you'd seen that. He is <gasps> almost two, which I already mentioned. Oh, Papa. Yeah. He's my favorite person in the world. Favorite little person. My favorite big person. Dad. That's a rock. That's Mama's rock. You don't get to have that one. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because he's tired. He needs a nap. And Mama needs some food. Mama's hungry. Are you hungry? Ah. <laughs> his, I think his, someone, I don't know who taught him that, but he says, I farted. He's a boy and he's learning all them horrible boy things I never thought my kid would learn, but it's cute while he's little, and hopefully like he'll grow out of it. That's a rock still. Yeah, it's purple and blue. It changes colors when you move it. Isn't that cool? What is that? It's kind of like peacock stone or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to hop off again. I've said it like a thousand times. I always say it a thousand times. Y'all should be used to it by now. Don't eat it. I'm not supposed to eat it. I gotta go before he eats something. <laughs> Bye, guys.